I'm Shannon and tonight I've got another book talk video to share with you guys. This one's going to be short and sweet. Tonight we are talking about Little Weirds by Jenny Slate. If you're unfamiliar, Jenny Slate is a comedian and an actress and she's one that I find really, really funny. Um, she's got a special up on Netflix. She's been in a ton of different shows, movies, the whole bit. And um, she's just one of those people that when I listen to her talk, I feel a real connection to. So I was visiting my friend this past weekend. We were talking about Jenny. She asked, have you read her book? I said no. So she lent it to me. I started this book um, earlier today. It's short. It's only about 200 pages, which is plenty. Like I enjoyed it a lot, but 200 pages was plenty for what it is. It's a collection of essays I guess you could say although a lot of time they kind of just read more like free-flowing thoughts that are very flowery um, full of metaphors and they're definitely poetic she says a lot of things that if you're anything like me they're the kind of thoughts you have throughout the day when you're going about the mundane things in your day-to-day -day life that's the best way I can describe it. And as I was reading it, first of all, this cover is super cute. Is it focused? <laughs> I can't tell. But um, the cover is super cute. And um, as I was reading it, I was like, oh, some people are going to hate this. <laughs> and then when I finished, I went uh, on Goodreads and looked around. And it's got a fairly decent overall review. Um, I think it's it's almost at four stars but like the people that hated it hated it and they're also Jenny Slate fans so will you like it I don't know if you like those kind of everyday thoughts that are just drenched <laughs> in bizarre thoughts you'll like this she starts off when she was born <laughs> how she was a, I'm trying to think of how she words it, um, back when she was a, hang on, let me see here, she was a fast bad baby. <laughs> she talks about how um, her mom would joke that she came out running around, like as soon as she was born, she was running, and um, that when she was like a toddler, her mom would have to put little bells on her like around her ankles so that she could hear where she was throughout the house because she was just constantly going. Um, I can't relate to that, <laughs> but a lot of the other stuff I do. So it just kind of starts at the beginning and works its way through in some parts to the end, like the end of her life. She has this, it's probably one of my favorite essays. Um, and it's her imagining, um, when she's old and she's died seven years after her at this point non-existent husband had died and it's beautiful it's beautiful I love that essay there's another one where she gets a woman to come in to um, plant the gardens in this very very old house that she bought and she's just walking through the garden with this woman as they're deciding what plants should be planted and um, Jenny mentions a certain kind of flower that she wants planted in her garden and asks, like, is this possible? And the gardener or landscape artist, whatever, whatever they're called, um, she's like, yeah, that's totally possible. But you should know, since you have a dog, that when they're out in the garden, these particular flowers will sometimes stick to the dog's face. So if you don't want that, you don't want this flower. But Jenny's like... <laughs> I can't think of anything. I want more than little flowers stuck to my dog's face. And it's just such a sweet little essay and I loved it so much. And um, there are many, many essays that I just loved. Some were like, meh, that's fine. But some I loved so much. And those definitely were more than the ones that were just kind of okay. And uh, I just think Jenny's just a, a sweet little lady that has some really interesting ideas and the ways that she makes the simplest things just sound so magical. 
like whether that's um, getting up in the middle of the night to eat jam from the jar with a spoon when I mean, you're just digging around looking for the little pieces of fruit. I loved that. I loved that description because we can all imagine doing that or doing something like that. And there's another part where she's imagining a future partner and he comes into the kitchen and he kisses her neck and she takes her soapy hands because she's doing the dishes and she takes her soapy hands and she puts them in his hair and just the way that she writes those things they're so it's so visceral you can feel it you can feel it when you close your eyes you can picture it and I just thought it was lovely I thought it was lovely like I said 200 pages definitely enough um, you can tell she was in a very particular place in her life when she wrote that not that that's a bad thing but it's something that as you read through it's very obvious and um, I enjoyed it. This came out in 2019, so right before the big change that we're all still muddling our way through. And um, it's just nice to read about that sort of everyday life back during that time when everything was, you know, the way it was. So yeah, I would definitely, definitely recommend Little Weirds. That's the perfect title for it because it's what it is, a collection of really weird things that she thinks or does or did or wants to do and um, it just all comes together nicely in my opinion and uh, I would definitely check out anything that she wrote in the future but again from the reviews I read it's very polarizing people either loved it or they hated it <laughs> and I loved it so there you go let me know in the comments down below if you've read it and if you did what'd you think of it I'd love to know. And that's just about going to do it for me for tonight. Like I said, it was just a quick little, quick little review. There's not too much else to say about it. And anything else I could say about it, well, wouldn't make sense unless you've read it. So, yeah. Anyway, it's late Friday night, almost Saturday morning. And uh, we've got Mother's Day coming up this weekend here in Canada and I think in America as well. So if you're a mom and you're watching this, happy Mother's Day. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day with your mom or family or whatever it is that you're doing. Let me know also in the comments below, what are your plans for the weekend? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to take off now, but I will see you again real soon. We'll have more um, The Great Gatsby coming up, chapter six, as well as the book talk for Jennifer McMahon's The Children on the Hill, which I can't wait to talk to you guys about. So we'll be doing that soon. Anyway, have a good weekend, guys. Bye.